Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back with another episode of the Los Angeles Lakers My GM series up against DeMarcus Cousins or Boogie Cousins, Rudy Gay and the Sacramento Kings in this episode. You're going to see DeMarcus Cousins have some really good plays and you're going to see him have some not so good plays. This man Julius Randle had, this is his second NBA or third NBA game I believe second of this season and he's gonna have a monster game in this episode now you did see him get blocked right there but it, it doesn't matter you got this man D'Angelo Russell maybe rookie of the year this year I don't know he gets that layup to go right there DeMarcus gets me right back Angelo all the way getting that layup to go and we start off the game down 14 to 8 so it, we didn't start off the greatest DeMarcus had a really nice first quarter and we started to kick it up towards the end of the first quarter. Roy Hibber gets that slam dunk to go off a of pick and roll. And, you know, I have to say, pick and rolls in this game, they're really, really overpowered. But if, I mean, I don't mind that. And this is something interesting right here. It's a tactic that I want you guys to do if you ever face up against the Sacramento Kings. Even though it might be really boring, if you want to beat these guys, hack a Rondo. Hack a Rajan Rondo is what you got to do because he is so bad at free throws and I don't want to bore you to death showing all of his free throws but I'm going to show you some free throws that he takes in this episode as uh, my main man Julius Randle gets that dunk to go and Nick Young, Swaggy P hitting that three point shot right there. I like Swaggy P off the bench. We got Roy Hill playing some great defense right there. Denied. Stops the layup, gets the block, and then Julius Randle gets another block. DeMarcus, the next possession down, says, nah, let, let me take over now. He gets that layup to go right there. I, go, I get to the uh, free throw line with Julius Randle, but watch this. Kobe and Rudy Gay are playing on each other. You know how Kobe is. He's trash talking. Rudy Gay saying, man, you, you're having a terrible game. You're not playing well at all. Kobe's like, ah, watch me. Watch me from now on. Because you guys haven't seen many Kobe clips right now because, honestly, he hasn't been playing a good game. Him and him and uh, Gay are talking trash. So the next possession down, we got Kobe giving it off to D'Angelo Russell, who gets the assist right there. Kobe Bryant wants to step it up right now. Rudy Gay, he turns it over right there with the great defense. We got Kobe running the fast break, getting that layup to go. Kobe, after that trash talk, man, he's going to start to heat up. You already know he signals to Rudy Gay. You know, his, his hands are flying. His arms are going everywhere. D'Angelo Russell from downtown. Guess who got the assist? It was Kobe Bryant. Kobe off a pick and roll. Another assist. Montreal Harrell throws that one down. I tell you, man, Harrell's a beast. He's a really underrated power forward if you want to get someone on your squad that can do some work. Rebounding blocks, buckets. He's all right at that. Not great at buckets, but, you know, blocks and rebounds he's really good for. R Rondo, man. Hacker Rondo. Seriously, you guys got to do it if you want to get some, uh, if you want to get some, get that out of here. <laughs> Julius Rand. No, that's Roy Hibbert. Yeah, obviously. Roy Hibbert. Seven foot two beast. Blocking everything. DeMarcus gets me on the other end right there. And the Kings are up. And this is a serious game. Because if we manage to get the Kings to lose, DeMarcus is going to get frustrated, right? And we want DeMarcus to get frustrated because he, we want him to demand a trade. And obviously in real life, he, he, he's, he might demand a trade. But in 2K, he probably won't demand a trade because it's 2K. But we can get some, you know kind of imagination in this series and just say something like if the Kings do really bad in this season we could go after DeMarcus Cousins to make it a realistic trade if you know what I mean but I did want to say this in the last my GM episode with the Los Angeles Lakers I know that so many of you guys want Andrew Wiggins on the team it was absolutely insane how many of you guys wanted Wiggins on the team the comments man it was insane so I'm going to go after De um, no, DeAngelo Russell. I got him already. I'm going to go after Andrew Wiggins. Now, don't worry about the episode after this one because I recorded that before I knew that you guys wanted me to get... Um, before, I get that before I knew that you guys wanted me to get Andrew Wiggins. So, yeah. yeah just co for, Let me just give you a heads up now. Comment a player that you want in the next episode that you want me to go after, but I already know that you want to go after that you want me to go after Andrew Wiggins. So yeah, you're gonna see me simulate a couple of games in the next episode, and you're gonna see me also ask you some questions and look at some trade options and stuff like that. But I will go after 
Andrew Wiggins in the next episode after tomorrow's episode. So there you go. That's what I want to say. And it's crunch time. It's clutch time. It's the fourth quarter. Down by three. D'Angelo flashy pass to Julius Randle, who I told you he had a monster game in this one. Denied. This man Roy Hibbert, though. Get that out of here. He keeps blocking shots. Left, right, and center. Julius Randle on the other end slams it down. And do you know how I said Roy Hibbert gets blocks? Denied. Get that out of here again. Quincy AC, unfortunately, gets the rebound. He puts it back in. But, whoo! Do you see that block right there? It doesn't even matter if the hand's through the rim. Kobe and one. You already know this man is clutch. And look at him. DeMarcus, what are you trying to do, man? Look at Kobe's. Oh, that's funny right there. Kobe, he had a really weird game in this one. He was missing a lot of shots. But you already know. When it's clutch time, it's crunch time, it's Kobe time. You know the crowd's going crazy right here. That's why the screen's shaking. Kobe doesn't care about that. Excellent release, free throw, and the Lakers are up by four points. They check Rondo in. Why would you do that? He's going to miss his free throws. We get the ball with Julius Randle down to Anthony Morrow, a great three-point shooter who I decided to run at the point guard when Rondo was in so that I could hack, I could do hacker Rondo and I wouldn't foul out with one of my good players. Slam dunk to Julius Randle, and that's Morrow fouling Rondo who airballs the free throw. DeMarcus is not happy with Rondo after that one. I do a hacker Rondo again. Don't worry about hacker DeAndre or hacker Shaq. Hacker Rondo, I'm telling you, he doesn't make any of his free throws. Crunch time, clutch time, up by four with 44 seconds left. Kobe Bryant, you already know, all the way, gets the lab to go. We're up by six points now with 40 seconds left. Rondo airballs another free throw. He misses the second mark after that, five, uh, 65 to 70. They foul Julius Rondo right now, who hits the first, and then he hits the second free throw. 72 to 65, it's all over. Quincy AC gets that, you know, mid-range to go, but five points in about 14 seconds. Unless you've got a Tracy McGrady on your team, I don't think you're gonna come back from that. Maybe if you have Kobe, but uh, we have Kobe, so it's over. He actually, he misses the free throw. It doesn't matter though, they're not gonna come back. Rudy Gay thought, I thought he should have had the ball, but he didn't. They uh, we turn it over right there, and then the Kings decide, you know what, let's just pass around. We know we're, we're not going to come back from this. DeMarcus isn't happy about that loss, and the Lakers come out. Oh, Julius Randle, almost a double-double with 27 points and 9 rebounds, but the Lakers come out on top. They're 2-0 they're to start out the 2016 season. They have a young squad. They got Julius Randle doing work. DeMarcus dropping a double-double, but it wasn't enough for the Sacramento Kings. Rondo... Oh my goodness, he shot something like 20 free throws and made like 9 or something? I, don't, I didn't see the stat line, but I know he did. And Kobe shot 5 for 15, we'll improve that. Hope you guys enjoyed, it's been your boy Smith, and I'm out. Peace!